Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I'm up on the UK Scrap Addicts YouTube, blog, Instagram, Facebook, all of those things. So this month's theme is uh, punches, I was going to say stamps then, is punches. So to get your punches out and to use them. Now I'm actually going to incorporate uh, three different things here um, in this layout and that is to use up not only to use punches but to use up scraps um, and also to try and mix shapes so I'm using the circle punches here to punch out literally what you can see on screen is just the scraps that I've got left from this um, dream big simple stories collection and I'm just desperate to try and get this all used up um, and out of my room so I'm just going through the different size punches I started with the bigger ones first I have a three inch a two inch a one inch and a half inch punch so I've started with the the bigger one and then I'm just going down in size until I can't uh, get any more or um, where I don't need any more circles um, I'm using different patterns here when I realized that I'd only actually had four of the three inch ones um, I did bring some vellum in to just bulk out the, the bigger spaces in between and um, to be fair most of the vellum actually gets covered up in the end but it's it's not a problem so if you're ever struggling for um, those last few bits of pattern paper where you really want to get them finished then um, vellum is a great way to uh, be able to especially if you're using punches to be able to fill those spaces so it looks like there's something there but it's not just obviously the white space that's being left so I'm just going through and just moving the patterns around making sure there's no two patterns the same next to each other and just layering up the uh, smaller circles on top of the bigger ones and then once I'm happy with the placement I do start to stick them down now the, it will get moved so although I've laid them out like this inevitably when I start sticking things down things start to get moved um, things start to get knocked out of place so um, this is just a guidance as to where roughly I'm going to lay things I do add in some foam as well just to give those some of those circles a little bit of dimension um, because obviously it will be very flat on the layout and that's okay if you're bringing in other things that have dimension like wood veneers or puffy stickers then um, you don't necessarily have to pop them up on foam but I do like the dimension that um, that this gives some where some are stuck flat and some are up on um, a little bit of foam and I talk about trying not to use foam uh, too much because it does bulk albums out but equally I'm sort of have a, that battle with myself where um, I want the um, I want the dimension difference so I just um, I just have to deal with it really so yep just going up the page here and that one there that says love that was a little two by two um, from a hole um, in the collection there was a, a sheet that had all the two by two inch squares on and I just punched that out um, and added that on as well and I'm just adding some foam even onto these little ones as well uh, just alternating where um, I use just double sided tape and where I use the foam just to spread it all out a bit and uh, nearly done I thought I'd leave this in just so you can see how I laid it out originally isn't how it actually finishes and just trying when you there was a little bit of negative space there so where there were two circles and then the vellum joins there was a little bit of a gap there so I just added that little circle in there just to join that gap up and um, yep that's all the circles added in now I'm going to have a look at the photograph that I'm going to include so um, if you haven't noticed I absolutely love snapchat um, filters I think they're brilliant I think they um, hide massively hide the bags under my eyes in a lot of photos and I just think they're fun, fun as well so this photograph was taken on New Year's Eve and it's me um, and my friend Michelle and um, I love the fact that my friend's kids watch my YouTube videos, they love them. Um, so I thought I'd just do a, a quick uh, a quick shout out. So I know you'll be watching this. So hi Emma, hi Amy, hi Zoe. Um, hope you're not playing mummy and daddy up too much. 
there you go that's my duties done so um I'm now just using it. You can see here literally the scraps that I've got and how I'm going to back my photo. So that that card there where I've actually punched out um, the circle, you'd think it's pretty unusable, but I'm actually going to use it to create the layers behind my um, photo. So I angled it to the left to get the most out of that um, scrap of card. And then this pink one here, I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to angle it to the right. Um, and again, I'm then just going to trim it off so that's going to create the layer so as soon as that photograph's back down if I was just to put that back down on the white cardstock the pattern paper that I'd originally layered it on um, that stripy one is too light it'll just get lost on that background so that pink really helps the photo to pop out from the white background so this is where I come in with all the embellishments so um, first off I have that little mermaid um, which I thought was cute, so I'd um, bought that in. I'd just pop that up onto some foam. I'd just skip through that, so I didn't save you, so I could save you the boredom. Now there are a few bits in here that you can see that um, sparkle more circle piece, and there's a um, if you can spot the unicorn in there, it's ten points for you. Um, but those actually don't make it onto the layout in the end, and um, you'll see me pull those off. So this is where I'm incorporating these little two by two cut aparts and these. Um, I wanted to break up the all of the circle patterns. Um, it was just looking too samey. And because my photograph um, was square as well, I needed something else to balance it out. So I decided to add in these little two by two um, cut aparts. And I think the sentiments are quite cute. So um, I just bring these in. And originally I was going to use that little orange one that says live, love, dream, but decide that um, the pinks look a lot better because um, there's not a massive orange um, on here at all. You got little pops of it in the papers, but um, I think that was just too too bold to use. So we had that little space up the top corner there with um, where I just layered that flower sticker. And I love this little garland piece and I haven't used it on, um, I've sort of been saving it. And I, because this is probably the final layout I'm going to do, with this collection, even though I've got tons of ephemera left, um, I'll probably just pop that in my stash and uh, work my way through that on other, in other collections. Um, there are quite a few collections that actually really complement each other. So um, this is full of, um, this collection's full of mermaids and unicorns, which are my thing. Um, it will team up very well with the likes of um, Head in the Clouds, the Chamel collection, and the new one, Sparkle City, that's coming out as well. So there's quite a few collections um, that have been recent or coming that um, will, will work together. So I'll probably look to include my ephemera uh, with those as well. So I'm just going to add in here then a, tiny, a few tiny word stickers um, from this sticker sheet. That sticker sheet is um, is getting close to almost finished. And although I don't like to mix and match collections, um, sometimes you just need those extra embellishments that don't exist in um, in what you, in what you've got. Um, and so I went and dug into my stash, and I've got these. I see I've got two packs of these um, chipboard stickers. These are from uh, Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy collection. But there were some circle chipboard pieces in there and I thought that uh, one that says think happy thoughts. Um, I love the way that that goes around the circle um, and I used the other one from the other pack that I've got the other day actually. So again, you know, I'm really stash bashing my stuff, um, which feels great. Um, that little banner piece that says lovely time. Again, just moving the stickers around to help it all fit in. And original was going to go with this as my title. Um, but it just the shape didn't work um, and I was just forcing it so I thought um, I'll, I'll try another route and find something else and then that little pink chipboard piece again from fine and dandy that says yes so that just goes in there instead of the unicorn and then finally just coming in with my title these thickers are from Amy Tan on a whim um, and I haven't used these yet and I found these little pieces that says uh, feeling all the feels and I thought this was perfect and originally my title was going to go there um, but it was getting lost and it felt cramped so I moved it over to 
um, the right hand side of my photo and I just love the way that that sits um, and it looks natural and again just to bring some more of that um, square um, feel to the layout rather than just all the circles there were these little heart pieces as well so um, I incorporated those um, and they because they match the um, the title uh, the colours in the title anyway um, so I'm just adding on some extra double sided uh, tape just because chipboard has a tendency of falling off and I think this is the layout pretty much done so I've left links in the comments down below um, for the blog please go over and um, and have a little read of um, the blog post um, if you don't if you're not part of our UK Scrap Addicts um, Facebook group, then again, the link is down in the comments below. Please head over um, and come and join us there for the monthly challenges. And I'll see you all again for another video very soon. Bye bye.